And moving on to other stories, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ulukayode Awiwola, says the rule of law has been under constant attack, even from state actors who should be protecting it. Justice Awiwola made his frank submission in Abuja on Tuesday at the Conference of Attorney Generals in Nigeria, represented by Justice of Supreme Court Kudurat Kekeweko. Nigeria's number one jurist says the judiciary will not succumb to systemic pressure to silence it in any guise. I must say without equivocation that the rule of law has been assailed from all fronts in this country, especially by those who are supposed to uphold and guard it jealously. It is no more news that our judicial officers and even court facilities have been variously attacked molested, harassed, and desecrated across the country. I wish to let whoever cares to listen know that nobody, no matter his or position in the society, should make, mistake our golden silence for weakness or vulnerability. The judiciary under my watch will not sit by the sidelines to watch the temple of justice and ministers of justice being flagrantly chastised and whipped into silence. Justice Awiwala says the Attorney Generals of the 36th state must commit to ensuring the dignity and respect of the judicial arm of government in their various states and fight against having it come under the control of the state governors. Meanwhile, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malani, has urged the state through the Attorney General to collaborate with the federal government to address the twin challenges of corruption and insecurity. The main objective of this meeting is to achieve better synergy between the states and federal government and do away with suspicion. There is no doubt that the support of the state is required for effective implementation and to increase the tempo of the war against corruption. In addition, we need to explore areas of collaboration between the states and the federal government in terms of prosecution and other means of converting insecurity. The fight against insecurity should not be left to the federal government, especially for offenses falling within the jurisdiction of the states.